There are so many things I learned from being an opera performer that have crossed over into tech, but improvisation, that's one not a lot of people think of. Stick around and you'll find out how I think it helps. Hello lovely followers and subscribers. I am coming to you from yet another different location. I hope you enjoy the change up. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about one of the things that I learned from my time as an opera singer, as a professional opera singer, and how I feel like it helps me in the workplace. And this is improvisation. And probably if you've done any sort of drama class, you've heard of improv, or maybe you watched Whose Line Is It Anyway, or something like that. Uh, but there is a very specific phrase that I was taught during my master's degree uh, that is part of the, I guess, what you learn about stage skills and what you learn about how to work on stage because the beauty of the stage versus a movie, for example, is that when it comes to a stage production of any kind uh, or a live performance of any kind, every single performance is different, right? There's always something that's a little bit different. Someone's a touch late or a touch early or the horn plays some weird sound and everyone's like, oh, where did that come from? Or someone falls over. There's always something, right? There is no such thing as a perfect performance, um, but every single performance is different in some way. So as a performer, I had to be taught how to respond to that, right? If something goes wrong or something different happens on stage, you can't just stop and be like, well, that's not how we rehearsed it, so I refuse to continue not gonna work, right? So you have to be able to respond to it even though you have no idea what changes are gonna happen, right? That's, that's the excitement, that's part of the excitement of being on stage. Anyway, let's bring this full circle and talk about how I think this helps programming and specifically how I feel like it helps junior developers but also seniors, right? And that is this core phrase I was taught which is let's try it right and now this comes into a broader concept in improv in improv which is um called accepting the offer now the offer on a stage is when someone uh let's say i do this and i say here have an apple now that's an offer right i'm, I'm not actually holding anything right this is air right but if i offer you an apple and you're on stage, you wouldn't be like, come on, Anna, you're not really holding anything. Ba bow, blocking the offer. That is a big old no go when it comes to stage performance. Instead, you'll be like, oh wow, thanks for the apple. Oh, mm, mm. oh so great. Where did you find this? Right? That's accepting the offer. Similarly, I believe that accepting the offer in the workplace and taking a let's try it approach is something that is endlessly useful and especially in software development, right? Everyone has different ideas, slightly different ideas about how to do things. And if we are really serious about taking an agile approach to the workplace, then we have to be really serious about not always doing things our own way. This is a perfect environment like on the stage where you can say, let's try it. You can accept the offer. Someone comes to you and says, oh, I hear you have a bug. You explain the bug. Maybe then they'll say, mm, have you tried doing X? Now, X might sound to you like something ridiculous. And you might be thinking, oh, that will never work. Or I already know that won't work. It doesn't matter. Accept the offer. Say, hmm, okay, I haven't tried that yet. Let's try it. Maybe it doesn't work. All right. So what? Now you know something. You've ticked something off the list and you can, the next time you're trying to solve this bug, you can say, no, nope, I've already tried that. Next. Right? So you, this allows you to have that collaborative approach. Um, but you never know, sometimes that thing will actually solve the problem. Uh, the other benefit of doing this is that it makes your colleagues feel heard. Uh, one of the things that has shocked me coming into the tech world is how much this matters and how, me how much these social skills matter and when you accept the offer from someone that means that they feel heard 
they feel appreciated, and they feel useful. Even if it doesn't work out, who cares? You still, as I said, ticked one thing off the list of things you can try to solve your bug or to fix your ticket. So that is how this whole idea of improvisation, accepting the offer and taking a let's try it approach can be useful in the workplace. I highly encourage you to try it. Yeah, accept this offer sometime this week. Maybe when someone says something and your instinct is to say no straight away, instead of saying no, take a moment and go, you know what, let's try it and just see what happens. Worst case, you lose a little bit of time and someone feels a little bit more appreciated. Um, best case, you end up learning something new or solving your ticket. So that's great for everyone. So that's my pro tip from the stage uh, in terms of how to help move both your technical skills and your social skills in the workplace forward. I hope you found it useful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.